Right now at five, a St. Louis police officer taken away in this police van that you see there on the left to begin his sentence for shooting and killing his fellow officer. Thanks for joining us. I'm Corey Stark. I'm Samantha Jones. Claire Kellett has the night off. Nathaniel Hendren was sentenced to seven years in prison for the death of officer Caitlin Alex after pleading guilty today. Prosecutors say the two played a Russian roulette style game that ended her life. News 4's Lauren Traeger was inside the courtroom today. Lauren, you've covered a lot of court cases. You say this one was incredibly emotional. Yeah, that's absolutely right. There were dozens of people in court today on both sides, and so many people were in tears as this proceeding went forward. Uh, Officer Caitlin Alex's family, of course, was in tears, but also Nathaniel Hendren himself getting very choked up as he made a statement to the court saying he lives every day with the condemnation, remorse, guilt, and pain over what he did, saying, quote, my pain will never leave me for the rest of my life, but I know it is nothing compared to the pain felt by the family of Caitlin Alex. My daughter, it's the best thing that, that ever happened to me, and she's gone, so I'm alone now. I feel alone without her. A mother's pain that won't ever go away. SLMPD officer Caitlin Alex was over at Nathaniel Hendren's home on Dover Place in the city of St. Louis in January 2019. She was off duty, Hendren and his partner were on duty, and admitted to drinking alcohol and not being on patrol when they should have been. Prosecutors said Hendren and Alex were using their personal guns and in a Russian roulette style game, started firing a revolver with one round in it. Prosecutors said Hendren did not believe the cartridge would fire when he pointed it at Alex and pulled the trigger. Although there is nothing that law can do to restore the life of Miss Caitlin Alex, it can make sure the person responsible for her senseless death is held accountable for his careless behavior. Hendren's defense attorney Talmadge Newton says Hendren has been remorseful ever since. What didn't come through in court today, I think, was how much Nate cared for Caitlin. Uh, they were friends. Uh, they had ridden together. They were partners. Uh, he is deeply affected by this. He's very emotional. <laughs> After court, Hendren was handcuffed and immediately taken to jail in this van. Alex's family spoke in court, her mother holding a picture of the daughter she described as radiant and beautiful, a military veteran with her whole life ahead of her. She's the real hero. Now, Alex's mother has filed a wrongful death lawsuit claiming, among other things, that Hendren should never have been a police officer in the first place, given what she is calling a complicated mental health history. That federal lawsuit is still ongoing in court. Now, 19 people wrote letters to the judge today talking about how this crime has impacted them, how Alex's death has impacted them. You can read those emotional letters at KMOV.com and the KMOV mobile app. Live downtown at the federal at the uh, state courthouse, Lauren Traeger, News 4.